Okay, so this is experiment six, the Diels Alder reaction. And right here, we're just looking at Daniel's setup of nine anthracene metal with NEM in water. And we're going to go ahead and start this reflux. Daniel, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what you've done? All right, so I have a reflux condenser hooked up to, in this case, a 25 mil round bottom. I didn't have a 15 mil. Uh, available, so I'm going to use just a size bigger. I've already added in 150 milligrams of the NEM. It started out as a clear colorless crystal, um, but it melts at room temperature, so as soon as I added it to the round bottom, it melted, and then there's a stir bar in there. Uh, to this, I'm going to go ahead and add 200 milligrams of the 9 anthocyanin methanol. And 6 mils of water. And we're going to hook this up to our reflux condenser. I'm going to clasp it in with a cut clip. And we're going to turn on the stirring and heat. I'm going to drop this down so it's touching the stir plate. And we're just going to reflux this just directly on the stir plate. We're not going to set up a sand bath. We're going to go ahead and let that stir, and we'll let that come up to reflux, and it will reflux for an hour. All right, so the reaction has been stirring for an hour now. It uh, is kind of a nice yellow solid suspended in the liquid. Um, we're going to go ahead and let this cool down, um, and then once it's uh, cooled down to room temperature, I'm going to go ahead and uh, vacuum filter it and wash with some cold water. So we'll come back to uh, when I'm at that step. All right, so the reaction has cooled down to room temperature. You can see here, kind of solid suspended in the water. And we're going to go ahead and vacuum filter that, which I have set up right here. And we're going to rinse this with a couple mils of some water I had cooled down earlier. Do another two mils or so. And we can see our solid in there. It's kind of yellow. We're going to go ahead and let this air dry for um, a couple minutes and we'll get a crude melting point. Um, and then we will recrystallize it. I'll be back when we're ready for that. Okay, so I finished drying the product and got a crude yield. As you can see here, a yellow solid. Now we're going to do a recrystallization. So in one uh, kind of sand bath here, I have ether um, at hot. So this is at a lower temperature. Ether is a lower boiling point. And on this one, I have hot toluene. So I have two solvents already hot. And I'm going to take our product and put it in a test tube. So all of it now in this test tube. And we're going to dissolve this in a minimal amount of hot toluene. You can already see my toluene starting to boil a little bit. I'm just going to remove that for a second. And we're going to go ahead and just take some of this hot toluene and transfer it to our product and we're just going to keep adding it, keeping it hot the whole time. Just a little bit at a time until we see everything dissolve. All right, at this point, it looks like everything has dissolved. So now to this, 
I am have our pre-warmed ether back here. I'm going to slowly add ether until it just starts to get cloudy and that cloudiness kind of sticks around. You can see as I'm adding it, that top bit there gets a little bit cloudy. So now it's kind of starting to stay a little cloudy. I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and hot still. I'm gonna add just a little bit more toluene to get the cloudiness to go away a little bit. Now, we're gonna clamp this up and just let this cool down. And we'll go ahead and uh, get the video of it as it cools. So everything has come down to room temperature now. Um, you can see here things have started to precipitate out or crystallize out of solution. You can see all those kind of crystals on the walls and a bunch have fallen down to the bottom of the test tube. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this on ice just to cool it down even more for just a couple minutes before we go ahead and filter and collect this. All right, we've gone ahead and cooled our recrystallization down, you can see more has kind of uh, crystallized out and fallen to the bottom. So now we're gonna go ahead and filter that. Trying to get out as much as possible. Once this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and get a melt temp and an IR and a UV vis, and we'll post it on Canvas.